What's up? This is Jake with Hike 734, hiking to Colonnade Falls and Iris Falls in the Beckler area of Yellowstone National Park. And um, I started out at the Beckler Ranger Station and took the Beckler Meadows Trail, worked my way all the way up crossed over the Beckler River after crossing the Beckler Meadows, joined up with the Beckler River Trail, worked my way up the canyon to both waterfalls, and then worked my way back down along the Beckler River Trail, and uh, as that kind of snaked away from the river, and then finally joined back up with it and came over to um, the Beckler Ranger Station Cutoff Trail, which is what I'm on right now. And um, yeah, the one little caveat that I want to tell you first and foremost is, I wouldn't try doing this before like July because you have two fords of the Beckler River and both of them could be extremely treacherous if you try and do this, you know, during runoff. So anyways, keep that in mind. And um, anyways, let's get started. Started over at the old historic Beckler Ranger Station and um, really cool place there to, uh, you know, just check out and went over and crossed Wyoming Creek on the Beckler Meadows Trail and just went ahead and went straight and worked my way through the trees. I was in the trees for a lot longer than I thought I was gonna be. I was kind of hoping today for a little bit more um, meadow walking, at least in the morning. Didn't see hardly anything. Um, you know, squirrels, uh, jumped a couple grouse, that sort of a thing. Um, but finally came out to uh, Boundary Creek and crossed over that on a really cool suspension bridge, really pretty creek, and um, just, uh, yeah. From there, you, you bounce out into uh, Beckler Meadows, and you hang out in Beckler Meadows for um, quite some time, and they it's really a really pretty meadow, and I was really kind of surprised that I didn't see any animals in this meadow. Um, as you get out a little bit, you can go ahead and see the, uh, the Tetons, which are awesome, because they're awesome, and uh, yeah. It was uh, uh, interesting because there was a lot of spider webs coming down. <laughs> I think it had me reminded me of Charlotte's Web. But um, anyways, from there, uh, one of the notes to make also is um, it was a little mucky in certain parts, and I have a feeling that if you did it early, did it earlier, there would be a lot more mucky. So, so just bear that in mind that you might end up having to walk through some muddy sections or some low water kind of se sections. But there um, are two little feeder streams um, that I crossed and thankfully both of them had some kind of a log contraption thrown over the top of them. Not official, mind you, so I don't know what that looks like normally, but um, yeah, so crossed over both of those and came to my first ford of the day of the Beckler River. And uh, this ford for me wasn't too bad. It was obviously a little bit chilly because it is the river, but um, yeah, the overall the ford was pretty straight forward. It is, this one got up just a little bit past my knees. And um, so, and this is in September. So if that gives you an idea of what it could be like, but from there, um, bounced back into the trees for just a little bit and then joined up with the Beckler River Trail. And, um, just worked around where there was a another kind of a nice meadow that you walk along and in the trees so it's kind of nice because you get the shade but you also get to peek into the meadow and i'm a big fan of both of those things so anyways after a little bit you um go go into some trees again and then you finally turn the corner and start working up the canyon where the waterfalls are and um, I, I love this. This is definitely my hands down my favorite part of the hike was this sec this stretch up to the waterfalls, and you're walking along the, the Beckler River and um, pretty pretty quickly into doing that. If you look across the river, you can go ahead and see um, on the opposite wall. You can go ahead and see uh, Oozle Falls, which is really nice. And um, the water is just really beautiful as it chatters down below. You're walking along a big boulder field, which is to your right and lots of pikas. I heard a bunch of them and finally had one scurry across the trail. So I was able to get some really good footage of it because he was really close. And um, so that was really awesome and just fun to watch the river chatter and just change. And, you know, this one log across the stream um, created some cool colors. And I don't know, I just, big fan, just loved it with the fall colors, especially. Um, just some nice, cool walking. Not really steep or anything. It gradually works its way up the river. Um, so it's definitely interesting. And then um, eventually you finally climb a little bit 
And um, then there's a little spur trail that said, it says Colonnade Falls 300 yards for the overlook. And holy buckets, this is a beautiful waterfall. Um, it is a double fall, not like side by side, but as in there's a fall, a big, or there's a big fall behind, it drops down, runs a little bit, then there's another big fall. Really, really pretty. Love this waterfall. Um, the overlook is great, and we, the, the sun was behind me, so we got a little bit of rainbow effect going on. So, all in all, really pretty. And as you, uh, can, as I continue on, and, and if you do this, you need to go the extra third of, a, or like three tenths of a mile to go up to Iris Falls. And as you go up there, you can go ahead and you know get a couple other looks at both of the um, of the uh, cascades there and um, really really great I just absolutely loved it and you're just nice and close and great overlooks of them and then um, then you get a little as you head on up you get a, a little view of Iris Falls and you're like hey this is gonna be cool but but when you finally get up to the falls there's a peninsula that juts out and these falls are fantastic I I'm pretty sure that I love them more um, I don't know if that's possible they're like children I don't know can you love one more but it's just beautiful um, the the waterfall is really really wide you can just sit there and enjoy them there's a, a fun little white water section right below it and um yeah just interesting waterfall powerful um really wide i just absolutely loved it so anyways that's where i had lunch and then i packed things up and turned around and started heading on back down and um came back down to the junction of the beckler meadows and beckler river trail and took a left and headed along the river and i was hoping to be along the river which you are for a couple seconds and then you just jump right into the woods and then you can kind of see the river for just a little bit more a little bit of meadows and then pretty soon you're just hiking through some trees in a just a, a fine forest kind of reminiscent of the one that you started out in and um and then you work your way along the foothills of this little ridge to your left and so then you start to kind of go up and over little ridges that pop out and um yeah i i was hoping for a little bit more meadows and water but you know got some forest instead so anyways just uh cruise along there just went over a bunch of little feeder streams and um, like I said, up and down ridges, and then finally worked my way um, along a ridge that jutted out. And my guess is that the reason why we do this is because if we hung out down in those meadows, it would be very sloppy. So anyways, thankful for that. And then you come out into some meadows and forest open kind of stuff. And then you end up, uh, the, you come to the intersection where the Mountain Ash Trail comes into the Beckler River Trail. And then that just kind of bounces back and forth between um, just meadows and, and parked out forest and forest again um, to the Rocky Ford. And the Rocky Ford is so-called because it's just kind of a big blocky sort of a, um, a Ford. And um, this one definitely, um, the other one would be kind of sketchy. This one would be super sketchy with high water. Um, the footing is interesting. It's not terrible. And I made it across not, not bad at all. It definitely was like thigh deep water. But um, if it was any deeper and moving faster, it could be super scary. But anyways, really pretty area. And finally you get on the other side and then start working your way through the trees. And pretty quickly you leave the river again, much to my chagrin, and just kind of wander through some trees. You can barely see the river off in the distance. Then you officially leave it. And then finally you get right along the edge of the river. And that's my happiness. I love being right along the river. It's so pretty and it just, is fun and interesting. And uh, saw a little group of female common mergansers just hanging out there and having a conversation on whether or not they should jump in the river because they saw me. But anyways, from there, um, you, you leave the river again, then you join the river again, and then you follow the river true for for the rest of the way until you get to the ranger station cutoff. And, um, and then eventually you get to that on a really wide bend of the river. And then just right now, I'm working my way along the uh, ranger station cutoff trail. I'm actually just gonna show a little bit of footage from, um, from it. It's just a walk in the trees, um, pretty limited um, views overall, and uh, just kind of more of a utility trail to get you back to the Beckler River Ranger Station. So anyways, overall, huge day. It's almost 20 miles. Um, you've got a couple river fords, you know, so just keep all of that in mind. If you decide to do it, um, you're gonna have to, uh, you know, you have to go big, but 
The rewards at the top are awesome, and um, you definitely, it's, it's beautiful. Those two waterfalls are fantastic, and uh, you know, some of them you have to earn, and this is definitely one of them. And then of course, any stretch where you're hanging out in big meadows and hanging out with, uh, you know, right along the Beckler River, it's all good. So anyways, this is Jake with Hike 734, hiking to Colonnade Falls, Iris Falls, and getting a little bit of uh, Beckler Meadows and Beckler River Trail in the process in Yellowstone National Park. If you like this video, subscribe on YouTube and head over to hike734.com for more goodness.